All right, welcome back to my channel again or to my video again. Um, today we'll be talking about box layout. But before I continue with box layout, there is something I missed out on the float layout. Actually, is actually assigning. Uh, come on, clear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, assigning only pose. Now, when you use pose hints, it's actually gonna take the the length and width of the device and divide it by a certain amount to get a, a particular pose hint. So um, when you use pose, you kind of like tell it to position based on the pixels of the device. You can say 50 here and say DP 100 here, right? Uh, It says no such file directory. Just run this one for me. Thank you. So as you can see, use DP. How do we know where to place it on the center? No, we don't. For us to place things on the center on a KV uh, rise on a widget with DPs, we have to get the width of the of the device and the height of the device and divide them by two to actually do that. How do we do that? Let's quickly head over here. We have to import what we call, no, we don't have to import anything. We just have to say pose equals to root dot height divided. No, this should be width. Root dot weight. When you mention roots, you are mentioning this. You are referring to float layout up here. Divided by two, comma root dot height. Divided by two. This should be should this should place it at the center, right? <laughs> well, is that the center? But not only totally at the center. Um the weight is not at the center, but the height, I believe, is on the center. So what do we do to the weight? Uh, let me see if this works actually. Yeah. Divided by four. <laughs> I don't know. But it, it, it looks like it works. Yeah, both sides are plainly equal. So on the weight you do by four. On the height, just divide by two, or you are you are okay. What if we divide by four? Or well, what do we get? Yeah, it's a little bit lower. So width and height are not always the same. So divide that by two and the other by four. You should get it on the middle, right? Yeah. So that's why I don't like using pose because you have to do a lot of maths there. But it's very good to do a lot of maths. Yeah, on the positioning, not on the positioning, I do the maths on sizes. So it's better to do a lot of maths there when you are targeting a specific device. That is when this comes handy. But when you're not targeting any specific device, bet your ass you want to use post hint totally. All right, let's go see box layout and see what it brings for us on the day. Um, we're just going to copy this guy, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. So I'm just gonna change this guy to box layer, right? The KV. So we're gonna change this guy to box. Let me just remove the text there. I hate that text. Just box app is enough. Yeah. So um, let's see how to position stuff in a bus layout. First of all, bus layout has two orientations, vertical and horizontal. Vertical, which means you can position widgets. This, no, you can position widgets this way, right? Vertical, uh, horizontal, you can position widgets this way. Don't look at my hand. Now let's see how that works, right? Orientation. First of all, let's not set the orientation. Let's just leave everything by default and create a series of buttons. 
size of that. Let's create a series of buttons. Buttons. All right. Now let's see. Let's see what the heck this guy does. Not you, bro. I want you to run this guy for me. As you can see, it places it on the horizontal mode, which is from left to right. But when you say vertical, it places it from top to bottom. All right. What if I change this guy? Orientation. Vertical. Let's see the way it places this guy. Top to bottom. Simple and short. Now, let's do some crazy shit and do some positioning inside a, a, a whatever it is called. <laughs> <laughs> inside an orientation or a layout first of all let's create another box layout here when you create another box layout um is it necessary to create another box layout yeah sure it does it's necessary so push this guy in let's set the size of this guy to Point one. No, this should be the weight, right? Point four, come on. Point one. So let's do this. Let's just name this any random text so that you guys know the particular button we are working on. Our code is A, right? Copy this guy. Do it here. Do it here, right? Gonna call you B and we are gonna call you C. Run our code, let's see what we have here. So we have a bunch of horizontal buttons, right? Horizontal layout that have the top, very top spaces empty. Now we can set um is it we can position widgets here. We can say post hint center y 0.5. Let's see what it goes on. Now, when you are using box layout and your rotation is horizontal, you can only set verticals. You can't set horizontals, right? You can't. You can only position your widget on a vertical plane. You can't position them on a horizontal plane. Let me give a size to this box layout so that you guys clearly see everything. Um, size hint. Do I call this one? Comma one, right? Let's just make everything equal. The button should get smaller. Point two. <laughs> it's not even going any smaller. It's kind of like sticking to where it is. All right, I'm going to pause this video and make some little changes to not prolong the video itself. Okay, I'm back. Um, finish setting everything. All right, let me run this code and show you something. As you can see, I reduced the size of the buttons and there are still enough space on the box layouts, right? Now look at what I did here. I kind of like set the size hint to none so that it doesn't get to keep attaching itself to the box layout every time and use size. Now I try to position the center X. Let me even put this guy to one. It won't change. When the orientation is horizontal, right? You can't change the value. You can't set the value of uh, the X plane. You can only set the value of the white plane. When I change this guy, 
to nine. It's going to keep moving up. Right? It's moving up. But it's not when I set it to nine here, it's not going to move to the right. As you can see, I already set it to one. Let me push this guy back to point nine. It's not moving. It's just where it is. <laughs> Excuse me. So this is the way it works. But when we change this guy to um when we call this guy orientation vertical. That doesn't mean when we call this guy vertical, this guy is going to set. No, it's not. Yeah, as you can see, it's not setting. Because we didn't set this in a box layout to horizontal, uh, horizontal, I mean to a vertical plane, but we can do the same here, right? Place it there. Now it's going to set, but the Y is not going to set. So as you can see, it has moved to nine. Now let's try to reduce this guy. To one it's not going to set it's going to continue being where it is it's not going down it's not going up it is where it is on the bus layers so when you set <clears throat> orientation to vertical know you that you're only setting when you are changing position you're only going to change the position on the x-axis but when you set position to horizontal when you set orientation to horizontal you're only setting the x at the y-axis plane that is the vertical plane. We are going to only position on the vertical. So, orientation vertical goes with positioning on the x axis. Orientation horizontal goes with position on the y axis. So, that is the way it works. So, that is it about box layout. This is the way box layout works. And, um, Hope you understand what I said. <laughs> yeah, I hope you understand totally what I said. Let me copy this guy here and show you that it works for all of them. Yeah, as you can see, this guy moved. What if we set it to nine? Not this guy. Even if we set this y axis to nine, it's still not gonna move. It's going to remain where it is. When we set this guy. Yeah, go to nine. Be at the end, extreme end. Thank you. It works. So that's with box layout functions. Uh, so see you on my next video. We'll be talking about grid layout. Grid layout, guys. Uh, where's my video post?